I'm good. How are you? Great. I told Aiden about the affair and he broke up with me. Trey and I never had sex on our honeymoon. You win. So, should we get more coffee or should we get two guns and kill ourselves? Let's just change the subject. <laughs> what happened with Aiden? Eh, nothing good. The whole reason I even agreed to this trip was to get away from Aiden and Big and the whole mess. Come on, let's get the check and go to Barney's. I can't possibly go to Los Angeles without another pair of shoes. <laughs> now, what if we flush out the central relationship? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Okay. Central relationship. Oh, Carrie and Mr. Big, huh? I don't see why they couldn't make it work. I couldn't believe it. I flew 3,000 miles to have Matthew McConaughey ask the same question I've been asking myself for years. I mean, look at him. I mean, he is such a great guy. I mean, I don't know anybody any cooler than Mr. Big. I... My only question, really, is what the fuck is Carrie's problem? You know? What, what, what do you think? Well, um, I don't, I don't particularly think it was, it was just her problem. Um, cause, well, I, actually he had some, you know, commitment issues. That's bullshit, Gary, and you know it! Okay. Kidding. I'm acting. Huh? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> yes, but do you see what I mean? That's why I want to develop the story with you. I'm Mr. Big. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I get that. Excellent. You're in. After I left the meeting, I took a wrong turn and somehow found myself right back where I had started, back in New York, back wondering about Big. I had come to L.A. for a vacation, hoping to get away from Big and Aiden and most of all myself. But sitting on the fake set, all my old issues felt more real than ever. I couldn't help but wonder, no matter how far you travel or how much you run from it, can you ever really escape your past? Mel, no smoking. I'd finally found a place to escape Miranda's snoring. The ghosts of my relationship's past weren't so easy to shake. I had to face the fact that I hadn't really moved on from Big and Aiden. I just moved. Excuse me. I put it out. Take Oh, no, I, I um, was just wondering if I could bomb one of those. Oh, sorry. It's my last one. You want some company? You sure you want to be alone? I am. As soon as I said it out loud, I knew that that was just what I wanted. And needed. And the next day, as I pulled up to the studio, I realized I was the one who held the key to my escape. I could drive in and have someone tell me the mistakes I'd made in my past, or I could drive on and figure them out myself. So that's what I did. I mean, if I could master a stick shift, could a successful relationship be that far behind?